values acceptance transforms if you feel like being an animal nothing is wrong in it be one and be one totally and be one with your total alertness as well that alertness will first uncover your hidden animal because that is your reality your humanity is just false and skin deep someone insults you and the animal surfaces not the human being someone condemns you and the animal surfaces not the human being it is there hidden deep within and your humanity is just skin deep if you accept everything this skin deep humanity will disappear this is false thing and you can become aware of your real animal if you go on being alert within this animal you will find the divine divinity dwells in everything and it is always better to be a real animal than to be an unreal man reality is the point and that's where the process of transformation begins indeed acceptance transforms however when you accept your senses and desires you become animal like rather being transformed this is your transformation this is your reality and it, and what is wrong in being an animal i have not seen a single man who can be compared to an animal pt suzuki used to say i have i love a frog even a frog more than a man look at the frog sitting near a pond how meditatively the frog sits look at him how meditative he is not disturbed by the whole world going on around it the frog is just sitting and sitting and meditating the frog is one with existence suzuki says when i was not enlightened i was a man and when i became enlightened i became just like cat this is a very important statement and a statement of deep understanding look at a cat she knows the secret of how to relax she has not read read any book about relaxation or did any course how to relax look at a cat no man can be a better teacher than a cat the cat is relaxed and alert however when you relax what happens you go to sleep the cat is alert even in her sleep the body is so flexible and so relaxed in every moment what is wrong in being an animal man through his ego has created comparisons he says we are not animals but no animal would like to be a human being they are at ease in existence what they are they are not worried they are not tense of course they do not create any religion because they do not need to the moment you flow with existence you do need not create any religion 
and flowing with existence, being in harmony with existence, is the way to live, the way to be religious. They do not have any psychoanalysts, not because they are undeveloped, but because they do not need any. What is wrong with an animal? Why is there need for this condemnation? This condemnation is a part of human ego. Man thinks in terms of being the superior one, the highest in the hierarchy. No animal has consented to this hierarchy. Darwin says that man has evolved out of monkeys. But if you ask monkey, I am afraid. They will not say that man is an evolution. Indeed, they will say he is a degradation. Man thinks himself as the center. There is no need for this. This is only egoistic nonsense. If you feel like being an animal, nothing is wrong in it. Be one and be one totally and be one with your total alertness as well. That alertness will first uncover your animal because that is your reality. Your humanity is just false skin deep. Someone insults you and the animal comes out from the hiding, not the human being. Someone condemns you and the animal surfaces from behind the curtains, not the human being. It is there hidden deep within and your humanity is just skin deep. If you accept everything, this skin deep humanity will discover. This is a false thing and you can become aware of your real animal and it is good to become aware of reality. If you go on being alert within this animal, you will find the divine. And it is always better to be a real animal than to be an unreal man. Reality is the point and reality alone transform. So I am not against animals. Really, I am only against false, false, the falsities. Do not be a false human being, be a real animal. And with that reality, you have become authentic and substantial. Now go on being alert and by and by, you will come to a deeper layer which is more real than the animal. And that layer is the divine. The divine is not only in you, remember. It is in all the animals, the entire creation. It is not only that, it is in animals. Instead, it is in all trees and rocks. The divine is the basic center of everything. You can lose it only by being false and you can gain it again by being real, totally real. Therefore, accept your reality, the animal nature that is hidden behind your false face the process of transformation will begin. Enough for now.